Tell me why does he look like a child molester? He's the good guy. No idea what happens here. Welcome back! And if you're new here, hi, my name is Daniela and today I'm going to talk about all the books that I've read in February. Also, I've got a new microphone, so either this video will never see the light of existence because it doesn't work or it works okay and the audio will be better. So let's hope for the second. Fair warning, I'm going to mention it is now. I feel like this video will be very long because I've read quite a few books in February um, so from now on, I do think I will talk about them at the end of the week as I read them. So I don't pile everything for one video in the end, you know, so it just makes more sense, you know, so let's talk about February. These are all the books that I've read in February. I'm just, oh, I'm so proud of myself. I read 11 books. Um, some of them are comics and some of them are short books, so I do want to mention that now. But I still read 11 of them. That, that is just crazy. My brain cannot comprehend that. I'm baffled. I'm so proud of myself and I also managed to read the February mystery book and I just, I'm so happy with myself. Like, this month has been insane. I've never read this much in one month. So obviously this YouTube is good for me because it just, it just motivates me to read so much. So yeah, let's get into it. The first book that I've read in February is Young Poets of Germany. Uh, and this also means that I can scratch Germany off from my scratch, scratch off map um, because I'm trying to read one book from every single country. I gave this book a two star. It wasn't that great. I had higher expectations from it, I would say. Um, this is a collection of poems and it has 27 poets featured, uh, all of them born between 1952 and 1962. And I just, it was underwhelming. I, I struggled to find poems that I actually enjoyed. I feel like that's the thing about poetry. It doesn't necessarily always translate well. Also, this was translated by Raymond Hargreaves. Um, Raymond tried, but I feel like he failed, at least for me. I just, I didn't really like this book. It was, it was underwhelming. That's all I can say about this. The second book of the month and the one I thought I would enjoy the most, like have the favorite of, uh, is Almond by Won Pyong Son. This was a gift from my friend Ella. Thank you. And I just, I loved it. I knew I'd love it. I just, I love South Korean and Japanese authors and this is a South Korean author. I thought the writing was fantastic, just the way they talk about it. It's phenomenal. Um, so this is about Yoon Jae, who was born with a brain condition called alexthemia that makes it hard for him to feel and process emotions. And it's his um, journey through life. Uh, in the middle of the book, his um, mother and grandmother. Is this a spoiler? This might be a spoiler. So beware. Um, but this is not the book the end of the book it's the middle so i feel like i can say it in the middle of the book his mother and his grandmother die they are killed and it's so interesting to see how he processes everything um keeping in mind that he he doesn't feel emotions and it's about his journey of making friends and just meeting new people and understanding the world and also i feel like the ending was very well written i just I love this book so, so much, so I highly recommend this. This was my first five stars of the month, and I just, I loved it. It's just fantastic book, 100% recommend. And the cover is so beautiful, it's just stunning. I, something so soothing about this. So yeah, this was Almond. The third book of February is The Trouble with Women by Jackie Fleming. This one here. Um, it's an ironic take on just women and what they had to deal with throughout history, how they were degraded or not uh, taken seriously. And it has 
just all these doodles all around and it's so well written again um it's poking fun of the way that throughout history uh women were degraded but for no reason like absolutely none and how the patriarchy ruined a lot so i don't know it's it's satire it's irony it's just everything you want and i loved it this was as you can imagine a very quick read and so funny and it does make you think so yeah this was the trouble with women uh i gave this a four star out of five so clearly enjoyed it and sometimes it's just it's nice to have like little break books this is what i call them because it gives me a break from all the the big books you know and i just i really really like this surprisingly but i actually love this the fourth book of february was journey to joburg by beverly naidu this is a book that talks about naledi and dineo who's um who have a younger sibling who got sick so they want to retrieve their mother who works in johannesburg that's more than 300 kilometers away and they want to retrieve her and bring her back to make sure that their youngest sibling is okay um and it's just it talks about their journey this book is very important because it talks about apartheid also this is a middle grade book i'd say to make children aware of issues and i don't know it's very well written i gave this book a 3.75 um i did feel like in some parts it was a bit lacking but again this is a middle grade book it's not supposed to be very difficult and yeah i just i really liked it also the cover is just beautiful so so beautiful the next book i read is i don't know if you can see it but it's kidnapped by robert louis stevenson and this is the adbridged version um i didn't know that when i bought this again second hand um look how tiny this is like it's so small <laughs> it's very cute but it's so small this is a story of a young boy like 13 14 i don't i don't fully remember neither did i care at the time whose father dies but he leaves him the wheel and says to go back to his family and show this will and he'll be rich because his father was apparently rich uh but he had a falling out with his family so he goes there and meets his uncle the only relative left i guess and his uncle sells him into slavery because he didn't want to share the wealth which wasn't that much anyway um and then it talks about his adventures and how he gets back and honestly i didn't really like this book maybe it's the fact that it was adbridged but this is such an old book again um this story is based on the murder that was actually committed in scotland in 1745 it's actually written on the book jesus christ but still it's a very very old book not this one but the actual story and the author was scottish so i felt like that also made the book a bit more difficult and after i finished reading this i also googled it and apparently the author never actually finished it he kind of got bored of it and then kind of closed it off because it was stretching too much and then left it as it was which i understand but I'm really happy I read the adbridged version because I will not be reading this again. The story was fine. It wasn't anything fantastic, nothing to write home about, but not really worth all that effort either. So this was kidnapped. I gave this a two out of five stars. So clearly didn't like it that much. Also, the drawings in this book, creepy. So creepy. Look at this man. And he's the good guy. He's one of the good guys. Tell me why does he look like a child molester? He's the good guy. No idea what happens here, but moving on, moving on. After that horrendous book, which I did not like at all, I read two comic books. I read oh, Angel and then I read Relay. This is kind of... Reading comics is a hit or miss, and this is the second C 
series from the season 11 and it kind of it starts in the middle and it doesn't end because that's the thing about comics and though the art was gorgeous like i did actually love the art look at this can you see i do think that the art is beautiful it just doesn't really make sense if you just read one thing in the middle you know it's it's not the beginning of the series it's not the end it's just floating somewhere that you don't even know where it's floating like the art is great that's the only reason i gave it a three out of five so i would be interested in reading the whole thing from start to uh, to end but mm, as as for now it's just it was fine you know it's it was fine that's all i can say about it it was fine um as for this one absolutely hated it the art is the only redeeming quality the plot there is none at least nothing that i understood i hope i didn't touch the microphone but i also read reviews about this and people were just as confused as i was like no one understood what's going on and this is a free comic book day i don't know what that means i don't know anything about comic books um and this is also the zero um edition so like the prequel of the actual story is like getting people interested in the story i i would say and again the art beautiful like actually well drawn i love the art story is lacking is so lacking is just there's nothing here i gave this a two out of five and even then i think that might be too much but the art was gorgeous like genuinely loved the drawings so this was really i i don't have anything to say about it really because nothing happened in it after that i read hamnet this book was given to me by sophie last year and i started it and i ke kept trying to read it and i kept trying to read it and i couldn't manage i just and i wanted to read this so badly for such a long time because as hamnet a lot of people like if you know books you know this one um and the cover is just gorgeous and i just i read like 30 pages last year and then stopped so this was one of the books that i wanted to finish until the end of the year and i managed to like genuinely managed to and so far this month when i decided what books to read i thought that almond was going to be my favorite book of the month and i was wrong is this one like the beginning is a little bit dry but towards the middle and end i was weeping weeping this book caused me so much emotional damage it's just it's insane i i couldn't read it for how blurry my eyes were from all the tears there's just an emotional wreck i just for those who don't know hamnet is about um shakespeare's son and his family in general but shakespeare's name was never mentioned in the book is he's just the glove maker's son or uh agnes's husband or hamnet's father is he's never mentioned by name and i think that that's beautiful also this is fiction the author has no idea what actually happened to hamnet there is very little detail over how hamnet died but he died at a very young age um i don't remember how old he was 11 or 14 something like that he was very young um also that that's not a spoiler the fact that he dies literally in the back of the book um but i was i was crying i was crying ugly ugly tears it was just so heartbreaking and i couldn't stop reading it in the big this is um the way it's divided is it's, it brings you back and forth back and forth it's like the past of how agnes met agnes being shakespeare's wife met uh him 
and how the children were born and all that and the present and it's just kind of intertwined so you once read the past and then the present the past the present and it's just so well written i i had a really hard time getting into it but by the time i got into it i was hooked you can drag me out of this book it's just so so beautiful and heartbreaking and oh my god i was I was weeping, crying, ugly tears. So definitely recommend this book. This is a five star. You will cry. So I just want to mention that like you will, but in the most beautiful way. So I am really glad that I finally finished this book and also that I actually read it. Maggie O'Farrell just, she has a way with words and these ones were just beautiful, beautiful. I am so glad I decided to edit this video today because apparently, guess what? Half of the audio was not usable. Yay! So I have to refilm this, obviously. Um, <laughs> so the next book that I read in February is Salmon Fishing in Yemen by Paul Torday. This book talks about a project to introduce salmon in the Yemen much like the title says um and for this a fishery specialist dr alfred jones is um recruited to work for it and the main sponsor for this project a sheik from um yemen i'm so good at describing books like fantastic really um and they try to bring salmon to the yemen it's it sounds like not such an interesting book and honestly i didn't have a lot of thought going into this book it was one of the things i picked from my to be read jar but i'm so glad i read this it was extremely interesting like i did not expect to enjoy this book as much as i did and i don't know even the writing of this book is so interesting like the format um it's like in the form of memos um and then you see the emails that they send to each other then there's um extracts from the diary of dr alfred and also the majority of the narration is from the point of view of um the fishery scientist like alfred jones but you also get uh the perspective of harriet which is um a secretary well not a really a secretary she's responsible for the project as well and um you just get different points of view from people, different people. And I find that really interesting because you see how everyone thinks and what their thoughts are. And um, yeah, I, I did not expect the end of this book. Like, honestly, shocked. <laughs> um, and I did give it a really high rating to this book. I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars, which is insane i really really enjoyed this and on one hand the ending feels a bit cheap and like a cop out but i also really liked it like i did not expect that i was in the middle of this book and i did not think that would be the ending so it was a really interesting book i highly recommend it i would say it's more of a um summer read much like richard and judy agree still don't know who those are but um, definitely more of a summer read than a winter one because um, again it talks about Yemen and how hot it is in there and the desert and all that so really enjoyable book after that I finally read the February book for those who don't know uh, at the beginning of the year I wrapped 12 different books and the theme of them was that each month corresponds to a number so january would be one so for january i read one day um and for february i have two eggs on my plate two um this is a book by Olaf reed olsen who's a norwegian author and it was translated by f h leon um this is a memoir it's about a true story of espionage in wartime Norway during World War II where, when Norway was occupied by German Nazi 
Nazi Germany. It's basically the author narrating all the experiences he's been through, uh, the way he worked as an agent for uh, Britain and then uh, he escaped from Norway to go to England to be recruited for the military. After that he was sent to Canada to train back to England and then from England he was put on a mission in um, Norway and it talks about his um, just everything he did and I don't know it's really interesting I never read war books I just is not my genre it's not something I enjoy but this was surprisingly good like I did not expect it to be as nice as it was um, it has very little dialogue in it and I prefer books that have dialogue it just it makes them easier to read and just to just to I don't know to process in general but this was really nice as well the author really knows how to captivate people and also the title I googled this and apparently in the original in Norwegian when it was published it was called contact and I think that's because after they're dropped from the plane like he has a parachute and he has to jump um, it, either the pilot or the dispatcher like has contact or something like that but once it was translated in English it was given the title two eggs on my plate uh, because um, when they're in England that's the um, the last meal they're given before they're sent on a mission because during the war eggs were really precious and basically a luxury so by getting two eggs it was um i don't know like a farewell some somehow it's it's both nice and bitter like in the book he also says like it was so nice to get that meal but they also like they couldn't stomach it because they knew what was going to happen next um so yeah, I was really surprised by this book. Really nice book. Definitely recommend, especially if you like war books. Not my genre, but I really enjoyed it. So I gave this a three star out of five, which is for me, it's great, really great. And this is the February book. So I'm really proud of myself for reading it. After that, I read You're Not Old, You're Just Not That Young by Harvey Little. I, this book here, I was meant to read this in March, as you've probably seen in my last video where I picked my March to be read. Um, but after I finished my February book, I still, like I finished it before I thought I would. So I wanted to read something else and I picked this up and I actually finished it, I think in the same day or like in two days. But this was bad. <laughs> I bought it solely for the cover again from a secondhand store and it's just a, co a collection of quotes about old age it's basically like googling quotes about aging or just looking on facebook and what middle-aged people quote and it's just it wasn't good it, it's such a bad book i would not recommend this for anyone it feels like a gag gift you'd give like a 50 or 60 year old and it's just not very good i i did not like this at all i gave it a one star and honestly i would not recommend this to anyone it's just it's not good and i don't know it's kind of bittersweet to end the month with a bad book but i do feel like i've read some really good books this month so it kind of compensates you know apparently my favorite book of the month was hamnet it was such a good book, made me cry, and the least favorite was this one. I just hated it, everything about it, a waste of paper, honestly, just not good. So the favorite and the least favorite, so quite a difference here. So yeah, those are all my books that I read in February. I read 11 books, which is insane. Um, that's 2,221 pages in total. I've never read this much, ever. I just, I don't know, doing these videos is just so much fun and I also motivate myself so much and it's so exciting. Like, I'm having so much fun right now doing all this and reading and doing the videos, so I'm really happy about that. I hope 
it continues on and I'm really excited about the March books. Not all of them, but the majority of them. And yeah, I look forward to seeing what March will bring. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, leave it a like, leave it a comment. Tell me what you think. Just what books did you read? And yeah, consider subscribing. That's it. Bye. I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls.